Hello YouTube! Uh, welcome, one and all, to the grand finale of the 2020 second annual Super Mario Strikers Tournament, hosted, commentated, and human-controlled by yours truly, Frogman Forever, that's me. And this is the finals between the number three seed Yoshi and his group of toads, Yoli, Yanni, and Yoni, as they take on the number one seed Daisy and her team Dave, Dane, and Damon. It's gonna be one hell of a matchup, folks. Yoshi playing for his Island Relocation Foundation. Again, as you might recall from last year and as I've mentioned several times this year, Yoshi trying to get his home islanders a new safer island to live on as they are threatened by a volcanic eruption. Uh, playing for a very noble cause, a fan favorite, he will be a force to be reckoned with. But speaking of forces to be reckoned with, the undefeated champion, defending champion, Daisy and her team of Birdos, Dave, Dane, and Damon, they are ready for Yoshi and they play for the Sarasaland Foundation which has already benefited from her championship last year helping the people at her home kingdom of Sarasaland uh, just improving the community the culture everything about Sarasaland uh, she's done a lot for her people and she wants to do even more so uh, she is definitely a force to be reckoned with undefeated in the history of these tournaments and that, my friends, is why this tournament is deemed the Green Eggs and Bam matchup. Of course, Yoshi producing Green Eggs and Bam on Daisy because, bam, she is a force to be reckoned with. She is tough to beat. The Green Eggs and Ham matchup will take place in the finals of Bowser Stadium if that makes any sense. Located in deep space, capacity 50,000 people, not as many as the Battle Dome, but only the richest of rich, the the people who are really the main entrepreneurs, businessmen, lawyers, doctors, I mean all the, the finest of fine occupations, these types of people will attend this event because it is very expensive uh, and uh, highly anticipated and and who doesn't want to go to deep space I mean come on all right 50,000 people it's a rubber compound field typically the home of the Bowser Cup which does not apply obviously we are doing a different tournament altogether so check it out these two teams raring to go let's see it happen now this is a oh wait I have to check something I have to correct something my mistake I'm getting too excited and ahead of myself let's talk very briefly about the options and I have to address this because I, I do need to change this because uh, this is not a five minute matchup this is a ten minute matchup it's gonna be a little bit longer well five minutes longer than most typical videos because I mean it's the finals you gotta have a more blown out awesome matchup so we have Yoshi and the Koopas and then Daisy and the Birdos alright so we need to change these options here. Again, we're playing on Superstar mode. It's tough for me to win these matches, which is why I'm playing as a lower seed. Uh, but anyway, uh, five minutes, we're going to make it a ten-minute match. Everything else off, and that's the way it's going to be. All right, let's jump right to this for real this time, Bowser Stadium. Whew, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. I've I've been losing my voice as I record this. I know it doesn't really show right now, but it might show as the by the end of the video. My voice might be gone, so we'll see how things go. As long as I can keep from choking to death, uh, we'll be fine. So here we are. Look at this field. It's just insane. A nice. It, it just, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to find the words. It, it's yeah. iconic. That's the word. That, that iconic blue field back in the GameCube days. And here we go. Yoshi ready. Try to pull off an upset here. He starts off with possession. We are underway in the finals of the second annual Super Mario Strikers tournament hosted by yours truly, Frogman Forever. And let's jump right in. Daisy, 
saying hell no to your offensive effort, Yoshi. But Yoshi is a little bit more defensive, and, y and Daisy is a little bit more offensive. So we'll see how these two really kick it out. Now, of course, a big key to victory for Yoshi is do not let Daisy touch the ball like she has it right now because when she touches the ball, she is dangerous. And when she passes the ball, it can also be quite dangerous. Yoshi, nice little juke there, able to escape with the ball get his teammate on board and look at that Yoshi with the first goal passes it to Yoli who has not really been a factor in this tournament so far he's not really been mentioned but obviously he's important because he's helped Yoshi get this far now again last matchup Yoshi pulled off a hat trick so it's nice to see him get his teammates involved here that is awesome he's gonna need to use his teammates in this matchup if he wants to be successful and so far just under a minute has passed and he is on the board but there's plenty of time left, and Daisy is very aggressive. Uh, she's undefeated, folks. No one has ever, ever been able to give her any kind of competition except for Wario, the first match of the whole series of tournaments we have going on here. But Yoshi hoping to get some nice little movement here with the ball, passing it out, trying to create some space. Does that, but the defender's body gets in the way of that shot. It might go back to Daisy here. Yep. Oh, nope. They stopped. The, they deflect the ball, but nope. Nope. Doesn't get it out. Doesn't get another job opportunity at the steal at the ball. I uh, can't know. Ah, I'm trying to get my thoughts and words together. But anyway, Yoshi bringing it back out. Trying to create some space. Daisy ready for that pass now. Daisy's almost back on offense. That would have been scary for Yoshi. They do not need to have people not able to rush back on defense because that is key to victory. Yoshi. Trying to make a quick shot. You can't really blame him for that one. They didn't really have anyone else ready for it. I mean, it might have taken an extra second or so, but I think uh, Yoshi, to be successful, needs to get more shots out than Daisy does. And uh, again, another quick shot. Not the best pass, not the best team effort, but still, you got to get those shots out if you want to have a chance at, at winning against this dominating team. So far, Yoshi's been doing really well. Much better than, Yo uh, much better than Luigi did in the semis. But, oh, no, there goes Daisy. Nice block from the goalie. I thought that one was for sure going to go in for, for Daisy and her team. Beautiful pass from Yoli to Yanni, but uh, that's okay. Didn't get it. Now, again, dangerous Daisy taking a desperation shot there. Looks like she's getting a little frustrated. Uh, that's not good for her and her team's morale. They got a ooh, nice little juke there. And way across field, Yoli to Yoshi. Look at that beautiful pass from Yoli. Cross field creates plenty of open space there. And Yoshi ready for it. Almost tackled, but he gets it. And this is an interesting turn of events so far. Yoshi with a 2-0 lead. But I tell you what, one thing that Yoshi has expressed in the interviews prior to the game is that he is not going to get comfortable if he takes a lead, no matter how big. And he should not be either because Daisy can pull off some crazy stunts. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yoli on defense. Really kicking it awesome in this first. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying there. Really kicking it into gear in this first uh, or in this uh, matchup between them. Playing excellent offense by passing and excellent defense. Reclaiming the ball when necessary. Ooh, almost a steal there, but no go. And Yoshi uh, ready for... Daisy's team, uh, not the best pass, not the best decision. I, I probably would have taken the shot myself personally, but that's okay. They got the ball back. Passing way across field, but it doesn't go to Yoshi. I thought he would have passed it to Yoshi there. It didn't go. All right, here we go. And there's Yanni playing some interesting offensive defense, if that makes any sense. And Yoshi back on it. And there's Daisy cross field. They got it. They got to stop Daisy from it. Nice tackle from Yoli. Passing to Yoshi. Oh, almost another great play by Yoli. And there's Yanni back on offense, ready to, or back on defense. He's typically your main striker aside from Yoshi. But he's been playing defense now. I think they're changing the strategy. They, they, they've really kind of planned it out. And we are almost four minutes out of the game. And this is an interesting one. I've never seen Daisy take a deficit like this with this much time gone. I have never I don't know if she's gone this long without scoring even once. But Yoshi's really playing the defense quite well. And this might be an upset. 
But we'll see. There's still plenty of time. I don't want to speak too soon. I don't want to jinx anything. But I can tell you one thing. There's a lot of people really rooting for Yoshi and his team. And uh, here they go. They are, they're proving defense quite well. They're really handling Daisy quite well. They're keeping Daisy from the ball. That is key. Now they're going to push it back to the goalie, try to reset. Be careful with Daisy. Daisy is not someone you want to get mixed up with. And she's rushing back on offense. She's ready. She's calling for the ball. She wants it now. She wants it now. She's like, give me the ball. I got to score here. Because she will score, believe me, if she touches that ball. And Yoshi, ooh, rushing back. Almost gets it. Here we go. Got to pass it in. There's a nice pass all the way. Crossfield doesn't go. A little bit of lag, but doesn't really affect the game. Boom. All right, Yanni. On defense. Again, not something he typically does. And here we go. Now back on offense. Uh, a little bit of space here. That's that's nice. That's a nice change of pace. But now all of a sudden lost it. And oh no, now we have some trouble here. As Daisy's kind of breaking away and getting some space. You might have an open shot. No. Oh no. They're, they're, oh no. They don't want Daisy to even touch that ball. They're just like, screw you, Daisy. We're out of here. All right. And there you go. Yoshi. Another shot. Getting plenty of shots here. That's good for him. But all of a sudden, Daisy has the ball, and now they're now they're almost. Whoa, that was a, that was a scary moment for Yoshi. Uh, I tell you one thing, Yoshi does not feel safe with just a a, a goal like. Oh wow! Look at that putback, Yoni. There's Yoni's first important mention of the game. Great, great play. I want to see that one more time if it shows. No, it won't show. But that's okay. We'll watch it maybe at the end of the match. Three zero. Still four minutes left. That's plenty of time for anything to change. But I tell you, Yoshi and his team are doing excellent at keeping Daisy from the ball. And there you go. She tried to make a shot, but they're on her. They're on her. And now Yoshi with a wide open shot doesn't quite doesn't quite uh, capitalize on it. But that's okay. They're getting plenty of opportunities. Now Yoshi again playing some strong offense. Ooh, look at that. Almost went in. Good effort. Good effort by Yanni. But... No go, and there goes Daisy. That's scary. You don't want that to happen if you're Yoshi. I don't feel like Yoshi's very comfortable, even with a three-goal lead. And there you go, Yoshi to Yanni. Yanni finally gets involved himself in the game. So Yoli, Yanni, and Yoni are all working really well together. Yoshi, I mean, this is, this is a team that's really come together. The chemistry has really come together. Everything is starting to align, and they've taken a four-goal lead over Daisy, and Daisy cannot believe it. Only three minutes left in the game. Still plenty of time, mind you. But she cannot believe what is happening here. They are keeping her from the ball. And, ooh, she almost gets the ball. But Yoshi's fortunately back on it. And they need they have some opening, but there's no but everyone's covered. Every, I mean, the defense is really tight. You know, that's one thing Daisy's team is doing really well is they are defensively doing a fine job. It's just offense. They're too slow. And Yoshi, again... Uh, takes a shot. That was kind of a weird shot. He should have waited, but I think he's uh, I think he's trying to play the numbers game here. Oh, there's a wide open. Open. Oh, look at that. Oh, and the goalie fortunately able to have enough time to recover. Oh, almost off the side post, but it doesn't go in. That was a good effort, but no go. And Yoshi again. Oh, there's the steal. There's the steal. And no, oh, there's there's. <laughs> Daisy's almost getting on it. They do not want Daisy to touch that ball, and I think they're going to rush it back. Yep, they are. Back to the goalie. Two minutes and 31 seconds. Uh, ooh, way cross field to Yoshi. Why not? Just take it. Who knows? Might go in. Ooh, they do knock the goalie out, but no putback. And Daisy all off on her own. That's not a good sign. But somehow the goalie is all... Everyone is doing really great. And wow, look at that shot. Who was that? That was Damon. That's the first time Damon's been an active participant or even mentioned in this tournament. And he finally has a nice little move there. Look at that. Boom. Right off to the left side. That's his sweet spot. That's his favorite spot to shoot from. And Daisy's on the board. It will not be. It will not be a blowout. It's 4-1. to one. And look at that. Yoli. Nice pass. Excellent strategy right off the bat. Move the goalie way to that side of the field. Create some space. Yoshi ready for the deep corner. It doesn't get any better than that as far as a, a, a solid offensive play. And there you have it, folks. 
Yoshi back with another four goal lead. Only two minutes left, basically. Oh, and a quick goal from Daisy. Look at that. Let their guard down. Wow, they even start the play right off from half field because that's how fast it was. Do not let that happen again. If you're Yoshi, Daisy not having it. Does not want to go down like that. And look, five to two. Only a three goal lead. Two minutes left. Plenty of time. Way cross field. Easy to block that shot. And that's not good when Daisy gets the ball. Now she's desperate. She's trying to take shots. It's a number game for her too. And the more shots you take, the more goals are going to go in. Yoshi, again, cross field. But that defense is tightening down. This is getting interesting. As the players start to tense up, I think the key here is just keep Daisy away from the ball. That's all you need to do. And that's a five on four right now. There's a little bit of space there, but no one to pass it to except for that one right there. Nice effort from Yoni to Yanni. That's a great play between teammates who really worked hard together this season, showing up early and leaving last for practices. They, it really paid off for them. That's awesome. Now Daisy back on offense. They were forced to take a shot, a desperation shot now. That there might be some more desperation shots coming for Daisy and her team. But fortunately, Yoshi's creating plenty of space and energy. And boom, another shot. And look at that one from Yoli. I tell you, folks, Yoli and Yoni really working together, getting these passes and shots out. Yoni also, I think he scored one. I don't remember for sure. But they're all getting involved. It's just a complete team effort. This is how you take down an undefeated forced to be reckoned with now look at these guys one minute 14 seconds left still with the ball Yoshi passing way across to Yoli who does not make it they want to they want to rush back on defense try to secure this victory they're up by five that's the largest lead of this match and again wide open players you don't want to give those second opportunities I think they're getting a little lazy on defense right here a little sloppier but that's okay they have a great lead ahead of them and as you can see, the fans in the stands are starting to get really loud here for Yoshi. But look at that. You don't want to celebrate too soon because there's still plenty of time on the field. And who was that? That was... Yep, that was... looks like... No, that was... Uh, who the heck was that? That was Dave. Yeah, that looked like Dave there right there. Yep, that's Dave. Yep, nice shot. Nice shot by Dave. All right, okay, so 46 seconds left. It's still just a four-goal lead. Believe it or not, still plenty of time for Daisy because she will shoot desperation shots and a lot of times they will go in. Not not so much this game, but a chances are it's all a numbers game. It's going to happen. You got to keep her from that ball. There she goes. Passing cross field. Give her an open shot. The Koopas aren't having it. They're ready to tackle all they need to. Killing time. 23 seconds left. Ooh, look at that. Damon with another goal. Second goal for him. And goal number three for the sidekicks. And we're under a minute left. And I think, what's the score here? Yeah, seven to four, only up by three goals. Again, it looks pretty good for Yoshi and the fans are going crazy and excited, but it's still, I would not feel comfortable. I think at this point now I could start feeling comfortable regardless of what happens. They're taking those shots, Daisy trying to get a shot out. I think they're gonna let them get a goal in. Yeah, look at that one. I think the goalie got all over that one. Boom, goal number four for the sidekicks. Boom. I think he touched it, but it just went right by him. Goal number four, which means Daisy's only scored one goal this match, but I mean, it looks like most everyone got involved in, in this tournament, in this final matchup. And there you have it, folks. Wow, that one. As the player, as the human player, who clearly has trouble against superstar teams in the finals, it's nice to get a little victory over the computer, but look at that. It, uh, all, all meta stuff aside, Yoshi wins 7-5. There's your highlight match number three. Uh, here's highlight match number two. That one, again, was Damon, who just started making more of a difference in this tournament. I tell you, that's why I do not feel comfortable. You know, That's why I say Yoshi does not feel comfortable or anyone feels comfortable having a lead over Daisy. But look at that. I believe that was Yoshi to Yanni, who is like the second second best player on the team. 
who actually only scored mainly that match or that goal, but it was a big goal. And uh, yeah, that's your tournament, folks. That is the 2020 second annual Super Mar Mario Strikers tournament, and we have a brand new champion. And I guarantee you, all the Yoshi's at home are just losing their minds over this victory everyone's so excited finally they can have the money they need to relocate uh it only took two years but i think it's going to come just in time i don't think they have to worry about that volcanic eruption i think they'll be able to get away because of yoshi's victory check out those final stats again this is probably the first time in the whole tournament where the underdog has made more shots than the clear favor of the match and it makes a difference the more you shoot the more you're gonna score but man was it tight Daisy even with uh, even with a deficit the whole time Yoshi leading the whole time still made a comeback and then 77 hits steals that's the only thing that Daisy had over Yoshi was the steals but Yoshi did not bad with six steals that's that's pretty respectable 19 perfect passes over seven Daisy da just Yoshi found a way found a strategy that worked against this previously undefeated team and finally someone has defeated Daisy it is Yoshi the number three seed on top and congratulations to Yoshi Yoli Yanni Yoni and all of the Islanders back at Yoshi's Island who are going to be blessed with a new home all right that basically will settle it folks let us acknowledge the winners here and uh all the proceeds for their victories going to go to the island ro relocation charity for yoshi of course and his team of koopas so just a reminder uh for next season Yoshi and his team of Koopas and Daisy and her team of Birdos will once again and I say once again in regards to Daisy but for both of them really they will return next season with that same team to kick things off only next time Yoshi will be the number one seed and Daisy will be the number two seed so it'll be her first time not being the number one seed for next year's tournament that'll be the third tournament for the 2021 year uh thank you so much for watching everyone i this this one this tournament started out rough for me personally the commentary and just the preparation i i'll be honest with you i started recording a little bit later than i wanted to in the season but i want to get this out by june because that's when i had the tournament last year um I probably could have done a little bit more research on it just to kind of get the names a little better and everything. I think having a co-commentator co in the future would be awesome, although I don't know if it'll happen. But uh, that way you kind of help me out with some of the names here and everything uh, on things while I try to focus. And uh, I don't know. I, it worked out ultimately, I think, for the best. And I think in the later tournament matches, things were a little bit more smooth and better. And that's kind of how things go. But, hey, you know, at least we got, at least we got our crap together by the end. So... <laughs> Anyway, um, I, I hope you guys like this. I like doing this. I wish I want to do this every year. Um, if you have any kind of comments, suggestions, leave you know, like leave comments for me. I need some feedback here because I want to know. Uh, it looks like this is one of my more successful Let's Plays on this channel. I know it's not really a successful channel, but you know I, it's one of the more successful Let's Plays I do on this channel. Um, so I'm open to feedback. I, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, feel free to let me know. Um, you know, and if you don't like it, that's fine. I I, I welcome all kinds of you know criticism. It can be constructive criticism. Uh, it's my preference, of course. But if you want to just criticize me, that's fine too. I just hope that you would at least kind of tell me why you don't like it or, or what's what's wrong with it. I know that there are things that I can work on for sure. Uh, I know that the commentary needs a little work. I know that uh, you know memorizing all the names would help. <laughs> um, I know it's not really completely accurate. I, I really just base it based on who stands where in the field, but it's all in good fun. Um, but anyway, I have fun doing it. I love playing this game. It's a great game for the GameCube. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, it still holds up today. It's super fun. Um, yeah, I want to do this every year to some capacity. I, I've, con I've contemplated the idea of doing a full season. Um, but uh, I just don't think I have the time to do that at this point. Um, maybe in the future. But for right now, I think this works for what it is. Um, you know, I don't really think there's much else to say. But I, I, I hope you've enjoyed it. 
thank you so much for watching. Um, as far as Super Mario Strikers go, we'll see you next year. But uh, otherwise, I should have some other content. You know, I don't really know what I have planned right now, but you know, things will come as as I make time for it. And uh, in the meantime, thank you again for watching. I, I appreciate you. I, I appreciate uh, anything that you might be able to contribute as far as feedback or constructive criticism. But till then, till next time, you guys take care. I wish you the best. Bye-bye.